So you for the month. The situation for the month. We start out with the tower. Something has just happened in April that just just kind of um, left you left you starting over from the beginning. Whatever the foundation was, it wasn't stable. It all collapsed, and now you are at the beginning, rebuilding it, making it better, making a better foundation, or you could be moving on. This could have been wiped out, wiped out of your life. It's an external force, something that you necessarily didn't have control over. It's not you, yourself. It's externally, it could be maybe there was a tornado or it could be something like that or it could be within a friendship or your employment, but it had to change because the foundation wasn't very stable. And now you can rebuild. Something better can be brought in. What is influencing you for the month of May is the Ace of Swords. And this is clarification. You're going to get clarification probably in regards to whatever the situation is that you are bringing into the month of May. It just happened in April and you are bringing it in with you. You're going to get understanding, clarification, and probably some kind of resolution in regards to this issue. The foundation of this whole situation is the Three of Cups where you had a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of celebration with friends and family. This was one of those times that you had a lot of fun. You had a lot of entertainment, a lot of joy, but it wasn't the complete truth, whatever the situation is. Looks like it might actually be a relationship. So maybe there were things that you didn't know about this relationship but at the time, you had a lot of fun. You had a lot of enjoyment with this person, a lot of celebration. And this is the foundation for the reading for the month of May. Your recent past, this is King of Pentacles. Pentacles is usually a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo that is an Earth sign. And they are acting... Out of the reversal instead of being responsible with their finances and with things that they value they are being very frivolous and spending like crazy or not using their time wisely i believe this might be the person that this reading is about an earth sign i'm not seeing any other signs there is a water sign over here so we'll get to that one but otherwise the only other sign that I'm seeing is an earth sign it could be an or it could be somebody with this trait that is being very very spending a lot very not considerate with probably your time or their time maybe you're acting like this not watching how you spend your money. You're conscious. You are consciously. Normally, with Eight of Cups, you would be moving away. Moving away from some emotional situation. But consciously, you aren't. Whatever this relationship is, you are sticking around. You are staying there. For some reason, you are unable to leave the situation it could be because you don't have closure, you don't understand what is going on, or spiritually you could be blocked. You could feel that this is something that you need to resolve, something that you need to do before you can walk away, if you ever will be able to walk away. You already did build up all this emotion and passion, but you are unable to walk away. Your subconscious is romance, courtship, love, compassion. With the Prince of Cups, this is someone who is very 
affectionate and romantic. This is your subconscious. This is what you don't realize you are hanging around for, you are attracted to. The advice that I can give you is stability, is look at, with Four of Wands, you need to look at your security, your your stability, your home life right now, how you your foundation is. Make sure that is strong. You have a lot of um, support with your friends or your family. The potential of this situation is Four of Swords reversed. Normally upright, Four of Swords would be talking about a break, taking some needed rest, and actually praying, meditating, looking inwards, looking at your spirituality as you rest and contemplate. But you aren't going to be able to do that right now. You aren't going to be able to get that rest and that, that closure, that, that inward meditation and reflection that you so need. But that's not, that's not a bad thing. We'll ask for some, I'll look at some clarifying cards to check out that situation. You, your leadership, your abilities right now, is your strength is waned. The strength card reversed. Right now you're not feeling all that stable and all that secure. And this whatever you found out at the end of April, whatever this tower card is, whatever the clarification you have come across, it has left you wiped out. You are drained. You need to work on yourself, build that back up in order to deal with this situation. Your environment is you have accomplished a victory, if you know it or not. You have got your point across. People admire you. They respect you. Like this one, this person bows down to him. He's coming back from from maybe battle or being away for a long time. And they are all looking up to him and respecting him. So you have accomplished something. And maybe you haven't seen it yet or felt it. But you will. You will by the end of May. Your hopes and fears... First the hopes and then the fears. Your hope, the Empress is very creative, passionate, fertile. Reversed, you hope that you aren't pregnant. You hope that you are not, you are not, um, how can I say it? You are not, well, you're not going to hope to not be creative or passionate so I guess you just hope at this time that you are not pregnant. And your fear is that justice won't be served, that you won't see justice in the end. Whatever the situation is, you feel that you are wronged somehow. And I think, I think your hope is that you are acknowledged as the empress. That's what you hope. You hope to be seen as the empress that you are. Because you are, you are very compassionate, loving, caring, nurturing. And right now you're not being seen as that. And that's your hope. Your fear is that justice isn't going to be served. That something unjust has happened to you. With That's why you are feeling so much pain with this tower reversed. Or this, it's not even reversed, the tower card. And the final conclusion is temperance. You learn a balance. You have reached a balance by the end of May. You have you have come to an understanding about this tower. A you are compassionate about it. You understand everything's not black and white, that there are shades of gray in between. And you become more enlightened and spiritual throughout the process. So it looks like in the end, you will have a good May. Let's get some clarification on the potential where you have the Four of Swords reversed. What is the potential for May? 
for Aries. Nice. Okay, you have the stairs and you have the stork and the bear. So the stairs, your potential is you have choices. You have choices to bring something new into your life, which will be strong and secure. And it will give you stability. And that also goes back to the Four of Wands, which is right next to it, which is your advice. Your advice and your potential is that you're going to get a stronger, more secure living environment and family environment. But you have choices. Whatever happened, are you just going to bail, run away? Or are you going to try working with it, rebuilding it, making it strong? Understand that there are, there are shades of gray and that everything can't be right or wrong. That sometimes you need to forgive and you need to move on and continue with the situation, but make it better, stronger. Okay. Come on, Holly. Back up a little. This is the nature of the issue. There apparently seems to have been some some arguments with a male person in your life. Somebody that's around you. It could be a lover, it could be a friend, co-worker, but that is that is the nature of those or the nature of the issue. The the background for these last two weeks of May. And to sum up the whole reading, we look at the first card, which is the birds, and the last card, which is the fish. So there seems to be a lot of talk about, with the, with the fish, it talks about your money. Perhaps you got a raise and people are talking about it the amount of raise you got. Or if it's a family issue, it could be a lot of talk about your finances. Now we could look at what led up to this, which is this first card and the second card, the birds and the whip. What led up to it was all this talk leading to a bunch of arguments and conflicts and disputes. This does speak of work. So I believe this is somebody at work that you're having issues with. Sometimes it refers to, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes it refers to passion in the bedroom because sometimes that is considered work, a lot of passion. And the likely outcome will be that this gentleman will give you plenty, plenty of finances. If it's a boyfriend issue, it could be plenty of attention. This reading could go two different ways. It could be work where you're looking for a raise and in the end you will get plenty of it. Or if it's a boyfriend or a significant other relationship, there will be a lot of intimacy and sexuality in the bedroom. You'll definitely get plenty of it. If we look at the mirrored pairs, the issues that aren't spoken, aren't spoken, we have one, the birds, and three, the star. So there is a lot of talk, not a happy talk. You're very pleased with the communication that's going on. And in the end, you will be the mirrored image with three and five. You will be pleased with the results, with whatever this is in the end that you get. Some kind of abundance, financially, emotionally, maybe even materially, like luxury. So it looks like you're going to have a great end of the month, 